What's up guys? So today let's talk about the Feral Concepts Dope Pouch. Now the Dope Pouch is uh, what Feral Concepts uses as their one of their modular front panels that really help, one, give you the ability to change out your loadout however you please, um, or have multiple set up differently so that you can really do a lot of stuff with it. Now, um, those of you that are still working, you know, you know that things change pretty quick. Uh, one day you may have the freaking <laughs> an M4 and just be rocking your normal stuff. And then the next day you may actually have to take the Mark 46 or something else. So on, on a daily basis, if you're having to swap things or do stuff like that, it really behooves you to have some kind of modular system. And this is something that for me, uh, I wish we had more of these kind of things uh, when I was still working. So these modular systems, uh, one of the cool parts about them is that you get to choose how you configure it based off of the very little limitations that are uh, presented to you. But let's let's talk kind of deeply on the uh, the dope pouch here. So let me get the mags out, kind of show you, well, let me show you guys what I have, like kind of my configuration per se. And this is the way I normally use it. Uh, I like it, pre I prefer it this way. Um, what I have here is the dope pouch with a medium sized pocket and the three mags uh, or mag shingle. Now with this setup, uh, you guys can see like, I still have quite a bit of room where if I open this pocket up, I can stuff this thing pretty thick, right? Like it, it, it is big, big pocket. So if I have a huge pocket like this, be careful of overstuffing it because I don't want that much stuff on my front personally, because uh, getting in the prone is a thing. And so I, I try to keep my front pretty slim, but if I had to stack a few things in there, admin stuff, picking up chem lights, whatever it is, and, and throw them in there, uh, dude, it's pretty dang nice to have that option. Um, I like having a big pocket of sorts, especially for like notepads or something like that. What I did see uh, over the time of using this thing, so if you guys didn't know, I've had this uh, set up with a bunch of the little little knickknacks that go along with it since December. So I've been playing with this thing for, for <laughs> half a year now and, and really putting it through different paces and having fun with it. But one of the things I really liked and I didn't notice until like probably a month in is that there's a lot of space on the side here where you can, you can fit one of your knives, you can fit breaching tools like small pry bars, things like that. So you have like some, some room on the sides, maybe even a chem light or so. But either way, what you're, what you're having here is like just extra room, which is nice. Now, the dope pouch consists of just a big kangaroo pouch that you can G-hook onto any kind of kit that has uh, space for uh, hooks or space for those swift clips because you could take the swift clips off and put the hooks in So let me take my mags out and kind of show you guys what I have here and how I have it set up So um, The way the dope pouch is you can see it's it's kind of a big pouch And then I also have the mags in here or the mag shingle This is how I usually keep it like I said, but let me tear it all out and it's gonna get loud in velcro sound So you could see this dope pouch is ginormous. You could fit so much dope in there. Uh, but <laughs> um, it does it does have soft side on the back towards you and it has hook on the front side away from you. It has two opposing uh, G hooks that look in the opposite directions. Don't look at me when I'm looking at you. Um, and then it also has obviously Velcro on the back. So it, it's real general, normal kind of pouch that you would expect, but it ha also has a couple little extras. So other than this front Velcro area here, which is kind of nice, it does have these little slits on the sides, right? Four of them and two on each side. And those are meant for another attachment that's, that this has. So let's talk about the front panels. Oh, uh, here they are. So front panels that they have, you can see these, these kind of hooks that they have there made out of tigris and uh, and the actual pocket is sewn on there but this is like a small little admin pouch it has room for chem lights or pens kind of kind of opens up it's got a little divider for for like a, a pad of paper or some some uh, index cards which is my preferred and then uh, little slots here that 
Personally, I'd use them for batteries. This is what I would use this for. <laughs> but this can go on the front here and be tabbed in um, as well as I believe on their carrier. So it, you have options with this little thing on the front, little admin pouch. Um, if you're not into that, you can also put Molly, right? So you have the, that option as well. So you can go with just Molly strips or these can be used once again for like chem lights or other things that you wanna slide through Molly. Um, it could also take one of those uh, juggernaut pouches or, or cases for your uh, cell phone, things like that. So if you're using different things like ATAX or whatever, like you can, you can use those kind of options. But this front panel area, it, you can buy these different attachments for it, which are really cool and, uh, and give you some more modularity. Just be careful of stacking too many. Like I said, uh, the prone position is a thing and uh, you don't want to be that teeter-tottery kind of guy. So let's go on to the inside, right? So I showed you guys how cavernous it is. But let's look at like some of the configurations and the way these things work out. So some of the options that I have at least is the three mag shingle, which is pretty pretty normal. Like it's very soft, um, uh, like there's no rigidity in there. Something to like pro tip here, when you go to Velcro this onto stuff, put your mags in there so that you can Velcro it the way the mags are gonna sit versus Velcroing it in there and then they're smushed and they're kind of cockeyed. And then next thing you know, you try to put your mags in and they're all fucking retarded. So put your mags in first before putting them into any pouch. Also, pro tip, get um, two sheets of paper and put one on the front side, one on the back side before sliding it in to something like this or like a kangaroo pouch or any of the other pouch setups that are similar to this. And that way you can go ahead and you can have a... Uh, a system where you slide this bad boy in and then you pull the paper out and they don't stick to each other so you can position it where you want it before pulling the Velcro or allowing the Velcro to stick. So two sheets of paper, slide it in, pull the paper out after you've adjusted it. And that's how it would kind of work out really nice for you. So then we look at like uh, a couple of the other things they have. They do have this divider that's made out of Tigris with Velcro on there so that you can divide or separate your stuff. So if you're putting two different pouches in there, you can separate them with some rigidity, which is kind of nice for a big pouch like this. It needs a little bit of rigidity, otherwise it becomes a floppy mess and, uh, and nobody likes a floppy mess. So you can use these dividers to kind of help you out with that. Then you have a couple options like, hey, I, I want a big pouch or a medium pouch like this. You can stick that on there. Um, let's say I didn't want a medium pouch and I wanted to do like a little pouch and some pistol pouches, right? I could do that. Um, if I didn't want that, let's say, let's say I didn't want any of these and I'm a, I'm a medic, I can go ahead and use their large pouch, which is the size of the dope pouch on the inside. And that way I can get this humongous pouch here to go into this, the inside of the dope pouch. And then I have a big ginormous pouch on the front end that I could use for med. Uh, especially when I need to get to it on the front end of my body. So just something, some another option that's out there that I haven't seen before is just big pouch. Like, just give me big pouch. So I've seen that before with, with medics trying to, you know, stuff stuff on the front of their kit. A lot of you use fanny packs for that reason, like a big one, uh, so they can get to it and it's readily available. This makes it really easy to do so because now I could have a dope pouch that just has medical. Or let's say I'm a saw gunner and I want to put like 100 round nut sacks in here, I can. So you have, you have some options. Um, I, I don't think you'd fit like 240 <laughs> nut sacks in here, but it's worth a try if you have it. So just something else uh, like 7621, so Mark 48 or, or 240 Bravo stuff. But either way, you have, you have a bunch of options for this thing. And as you guys can see, there's, there's a lot of modularity to it. Um, not just that, but let's say we, we stuff this inside there and it's inside the dope pouch and we want to also add more modularity to it. You can grab one of their, one of their uh, little sacks that they have underneath and you can stick that on there or you can grab one of their roll pouches. You can stick that on there. Like there's so many options with this kind of setup that 
if you're not utilizing something like this, um, you're kind of you're living in the past, or you're you're just not getting into uh, the amount of stuff that you need, or you just don't need that much stuff. So the majority of the time, I know I I like three mags or a three mag shingle, and I carry two mags and a tourniquet in there. So it depends on what you're doing, but I'm glad I can take that off and throw something that's a little bit more loaded out for stuff that I'm gonna do. And like I said, that doesn't go out on the outside, it goes on the inside, by the way. So just different options, guys. Hopefully that makes all like makes sense to an extent and uh, I didn't ramble too much, but that's the Ferro Concepts dope pouch and, uh, and some of the accessories I have for it. And, uh, and hopefully that was helpful at least to, uh, to get you to understand what you're getting if you're gonna buy one or uh, potentially buy one. So hope that helps, guys. Take care.